Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on enrolling your device using Samsung Knox Mobile Enrollment. Enroll your device seamlessly with Samsung Knox Mobile Enrollment for secure and automated setup. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process to ensure a smooth onboarding experience. Samsung Knox Enrollment is ideal for organizations looking to automate the setup of large numbers of Samsung devices, making it perfect for corporate environments. A large retail chain needs to set up Samsung devices across different locations. Some devices will be used as kiosks for customers, some for employees handling orders, and others for managers who need both work and personal access. Manually setting up each device would take too much time, especially for remote employees. With Knox Mobile enrollment, provisioning is automated, such as devices are automatically set up when they're turned on, kiosk devices stay locked to a specific app, employee devices are fully managed with the right apps and settings, and manager devices keep work and personal data separate. Remote employees also receive pre-configured devices without IT help. This way, all devices are secure, ready to use, and managed easily from one place. To get started with Knox Mobile Enrollment, here's what you'll need. Samsung devices running Knox 3.0 or later. A Samsung Knox account. Adding Samsung devices to the Knox admin portal. Devices purchased from Samsung authorized resellers. If your devices are purchased from Samsung Authorized Reseller, the reseller will upload the devices to your Knox Mobile Enrollment KME console. Authorized resellers are added to your Knox Mobile Enrollment portal. Once your devices are added to the Knox Admin portal, the next step is to access and configure them. To get started, log in to the Knox Admin portal. Upon logging in, you'll find six key menus. However, Let's focus on the two most important ones for now. Devices. This section lists all your purchased devices, which have been added by your reseller. Once your devices are listed, the next step is to determine how they should be enrolled and configured. Profiles. Here, you can create and manage Knox Mobile enrollment profiles, which define how each device is configured during setup. These profiles specify whether enrollment is automatic, which MDM server the device connects to, and whether users see setup screens. Unlike Manage Engine MDM profiles, which enforce policies and restrictions after enrollment, Knox Mobile Enrollment Profiles determine the initial enrollment behavior and device provisioning during the setup process. These menus help you efficiently manage and configure your devices. Once configured, the next step is to integrate Knox Mobile Enrollment with Manage Engine Log into the Manage Engine MDM console. Or in Endpoint Central, go to the MDM module and navigate to Knox Mobile Enrollment under the Enrollment tab. Here, you'll select the deployment mode that best fits your use case. Full Device Management provides complete control over Samsung devices, making it ideal for retail environments, including kiosks, order processing, and fully managed employee devices. In retail, businesses need to ensure secure and uninterrupted device usage for critical operations. This level of management helps maintain strict security and control, preventing unauthorized access and modifications. Ensures locked down usage for POS terminals, inventory tracking, and customer engagement tools, allowing seamless and efficient retail operations. Workspace management separates work and personal data on manager devices, enabling secure work app access while allowing personal use in a dedicated space. Now, let us configure the Knox profile by choosing an activation mode. User activation. The device can be handed to the user out of the box. They activate the device and complete enrollment by entering their directory username and password. This method allows users to set up their devices independently while ensuring they remain managed and secured. Admin activation. The administrator manually assigns devices to specific users and groups before enrollment is finalized. This approach provides greater control, ensuring devices are pre-configured and assigned before reaching the end user. 
In this example, we'll use admin activation, giving the admin complete control over device assignments. Finally, after configuring the necessary settings, copy the JSON data and click save and continue to complete this step of the setup. Now, go back to the Knox admin portal. Then navigate to the profile section and click on create profile. Once you're there, you can proceed with the next steps. On the profile setup page, simply choose a profile name that clearly indicates its purpose, such as sales team Android or retail store frontline. Then add a profile description to provide more details, like the device usage or any specific policies. This ensures that anyone managing these devices later can quickly understand the profile's intent. Next, confirm your organization's details, company name, support email, and support phone number. These details will appear during device enrollment, letting users know whom to contact for any questions or assistance. After entering your profile's basic details, click Next. This will take you to the EMM configuration step, where you'll select your EMM provider and specify the EMM agent APK source. Now it's time to configure your EMM settings. In the Pick Your EMM dropdown, select Manage Engine Mobile Device Manager Plus. Even if you're currently using Endpoint Central, this is the option you'll need to choose here. Once you choose, the EMM Agent APK field will automatically fill in, ensuring the correct app is downloaded during enrollment. If your EMM is hosted on a private intranet, you'll need to specify its details to ensure proper configuration. Enable. This EMM APK is privately hosted on an intranet server, then provide the following. Admin component name includes the package name and class name. Admin package signature. Checksum. Obtain this from your EMM provider or generate it using tools like Keytool. EMM app name displays on the managed provisioning page. App icon. Upload a PNG file to represent the EMM app. If required by your EMM provider, select Specify an EMM Server URI and enter the server address. Make sure the URI is accessible outside any firewalls if the devices are on public networks. Once entered, proceed to the next step. In the Configure section, you can manage system apps. By enabling or disabling these apps, you control which applications are available on the device by default, ensuring users only have access to the necessary tools and services. Additionally, check Show All Android Enterprise Setup Screens and Show Setup Wizard after EMM enrollment. Enabling these options prompts the user to allow location services during setup. If the user selects Allow, Google policies, including Google location tracking, will be enabled. This can be beneficial for features like geofencing. Under DPC Extras, paste the copied JSON data to define custom configurations for Manage Engine Mobile Device Manager Plus. Finally, under Advanced Settings, you will find additional configuration options that require a Knox Suite license. If you have a valid license, you can leverage these advanced features. However, if not, the devices can still be enrolled using these standard settings. Once all configurations are finalized in this section, click Next to proceed to the review step and complete the profile creation process. Now that you've walked through each step of the setup, you'll see a final review page summarizing all the details you've entered. Double check that everything looks correct from the profile name and contact information to the EMM agent APK source. If you need to make any adjustments, use the edit buttons next to the respective sections. Once you're sure all the settings are accurate, click create to finalize the profile. Your new configuration will now be available and ready to apply to your devices. Once your profile is set up, it's time to enroll your devices. In the Knox Admin Portal, go to the Devices section under Knox Mobile Enrollment. Here, you'll see a list of devices that are ready to be enrolled, typically uploaded by your authorized reseller. When configuring Knox Mobile Enrollment, you can create two types of profiles based on your device management needs. Full Device Management, provides complete control over work-only devices. Workspace Management, WPCO, 
separates work and personal data on employee-managed devices. The only difference in configuration comes down to the JSO and data applied during setup. Paste the required JSON in the Configure section to define how the device is provisioned. To assign a profile, identify the device using its IMEI or serial number from the list. Click on the device to bring up its details in the side panel. From there, use the Profile drop-down to select the desired profile and configure the settings. Click Save to apply the profile to the device. For multiple devices, select them using the checkboxes next to each device in the list. Click Actions, choose Configure Devices, and select the desired profile in the configuration window. Apply it to assign the profile to all selected devices simultaneously. To remove an assigned profile, select the device, open the Profile drop-down in the side panel, choose Clear Profiles, and click Save to complete the process. With your profile now configured, it's time for device enrollment. Prepare the device, factory reset the device before turning it on. Power on, follow the on-screen instructions to complete enrollment. Since the device will be activated by the admin, as previously mentioned, the device will appear in the Staged section of the enrollment module. This is because the device has been pre-registered for enrollment, but is waiting for user assignment to complete the process. Once assigned, the device applies the assigned configurations and is ready for use. The console will update the device status to Managed. And that's it. Your devices are now enrolled. For more detailed guides and support, be sure to check out the resources on the Manage Engine website. With Samsung Knox Mobile Enrollment, your devices are securely set up and ready for use with the right configurations in place. Follow these steps to streamline enrollment and ensure seamless device management. Thank you for watching.